Hello and welcome to Trains in Vietic. Today I'll be looking at this and then I'll be going up into Vietic to show you how to do something which I keep on being asked how to on the ECOS. So if you stay tuned and now for the titles. I bought this at the Alton Water Railway Show from, uh, I can't remember the name of the company, but the website will be down at the bottom of the page right now. This is an R ramp meter by dccspecialist.com. There are several versions of this. This is a panel mounted version, and you'll be wondering what is it. This actually give you the current and voltage on your DCC system. You can also use it to find where about you have dead spots on the railway and you can also use it to see what draw a loco you use. So I'll unpack it and show you what you get and then we can have a play with it. This is the first one, uh, the V1 uh, R, R ramp meter, and you get several bits in this. So you get the main board, which have little sliding contacts, so you can then uh, measure the track voltage. You've got to display, then you've got DCC present, and then AC present. Then you've got the voltage display and current display. So eventually this will be mounted in the layout. Then uh, you feed your um, DCC through this. I'm not quite sure which way. I'll look in for instructions and let you know. And then this will show what is being drawn from the other side. If you're using it to uh, see where about you've got dead spots or low current, you need to have a load connected to this version. But reading the instructions, you can upgrade it. So that's the first bit. Then in this little envelope, you've got what they call screw terminals, which are these little things here. If I just want to focus, come on, focus. You have not wanted to focus. Let me manually focus it. So that's better. You can see that there's a screw on it and then some legs. These can be put onto the board like so, or on the back, which I'll be doing, which gives you nice and convenient uh, soldering points. Now, I mean, screw terminals. By doing it on the back, it means that this can still be panel mounted, but you don't actually need them, as you can connect to the side, which I'll be doing for today. So I'll read for instructions and then give you a bit more information. This unit come with a brilliant instruction. So you've got the two different versions there. Uh, that's the version I got and that's the version up. And then on this page, you've got um, how to wire it. So you have a booster's or transformer coming in from that side and then going out to that side. Then at the bottom it actually explains to you how it works as you have an explanation about DCC, AC and DC waveforms. So uh, this explains why you can't use a standard multimeter on a digital system. 
then you've got um how to use it uh to use measure for trap voltage problems you then have how to use it to see what to loco draw uh then you have uh for uh the thing which show you the uh, mounting templates so you can work out how to cut stuff and then you have additional notes so this is a really nice uh instruction manual so i think the only thing left to do is to go up into the active with it and have a play so reading the instruction power in this side and then i need a current draw on that side which in my case will just be a light bulb so let's go up into the attic and have a play with this you'll see there's two mounting holes there for arm screws and you have a load of nice electronics on the back and you can see how easy for connectors just connect so i'll go up into the attic we can have a play with this and then we can have a play with our e course i'm up in the attic and i have a, a ramp meter in my hand so first way to use it is just like this you can see I've got 14.8 volts on the track, but I can't see what the current is. So what I'll do now is quickly put a LED on this. You can see with a LED on this, um, that's taken to uh, 0.2 amps of current and the voltage is staying roughly the same and you can see I've got a green light so the DCC signal is present what I'll do is I'll try it a bit further on in the layout And you can see everything is the same there. Uh, the LED is just to give it to the current draw, but it's not necessary. So I'll put that away. Uh, so this is, is quite a useful little device. Uh, it will finally be wired up between the equals and everything else so i can see what everything's drawing i know that on the equals i can see what's coming out but um it's always worth just double checking everything and it will be useful for well, about either having poor performing locos to see if it is a uh, poor Poor are uh, performing loco to poor performing track. So that is fourteen point seven. That's that's likely higher there. Uh, so let's try this one here. So they're all within roughly the same amount. Every now and again, I've been getting people asking for the same question. On the ECOS, I have these white blocks to show when I have a Railcom equipped uh, loco on it. You can see quite well on this one why well, I have four of them. So people want to know how to program them in. So. What I'll do is I'll start a blank board and then we can, then I can show you. Uh, first thing you do is you press the IC3 icon. Then you put it at the end of your track diagram 
just click for bots and it tells you which e course and which no which detection and which port so i've got four different ports and four different detections so i'll do that and then press tick so i'll quickly do a quick track diagram to show you how to draw it into it and that will be added when a local pass that block it will be shown there and then when you decide you don't actually want it there you can just press that red cross and then click on the block and it's gone it's quite a easy thing to do but it's something you need to learn how to do and you need to make sure that you have a block large enough for it so i found at one point when i was first using it my block wasn't large enough you need a space of one two three four five uh, blocks on the screen so you can either put your uh, detection blocks down on the screen and then your track or you can do it the other way around um i think that that should help that question next week we'll be down on my desk again and we're going to be doing some work on thumper road got a few little jobs to get done on it i got this lovely back scene to put on it it will only just be one of these sections and most probably that one i think and i also got these auto uh yeah auto frog uh, from gaze master to do for point polarity so we also got for just plus system to add to it as well so we got a few jobs to do on it